Thank you, Father. We are grateful for this morning. Your name be exalted, your name be praised, now and forevermore. Glory unto you, Jesus. Glory unto you, Jesus. Glory unto you, my King. Glory unto you, my Lord. Holy, holy is your name. Let your word come with power and transformation. Let your word come with an enlightenment, Lord. Give us understanding through your word. Birth in us a passion for you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, as we hear these letters from the Spirit, Father, let it transform us. Let it transform us. Let it change our very genetic makeup in conformity to your will and purpose and agenda for our lives. Let it transform us. Let it transform us. Let it bring transformation, total transformation, tangible change. Let your word birth in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, slap your hands together. Let's appreciate the Lord. What's your man's now? This is your clapping there. It's a slacking feet. This is your clapping is slacking feet. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in God's house, Anna. David said, a day in his courts is much more relevant, much more important, much more the essence than what? Thousand years in the king's palace. You see, David understood the limitation of man. He understood what he understood that that which man builds or man perceives is limited. So he said, What my ways are not your ways, neither are my thoughts your thoughts. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my, my ways higher than your ways, my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Isn't it? Uh -huh. So the way I mean, it supersedes ours. That is why, as children of God, we need to conform to his will. We need to calm down, put away the ego and all the pride, and then come low to God. Amen. It doesn't matter how old you are or how newly born you are. Once you come to understand God a bit, you learn to submit. Like women are what, admonished or warned or encouraged or obliged to submit to their husbands. So must man submit also what? Unto God. Like the bride and what? A groom. Christ and what? The church. Oh, come on, preach with me. Christ and what? Aha. The Bible says, Yembra, Yem Wase Manyame, Yem Koto Nyame. Amen. Letters from the Spirit. Letters from the Spirit. Last we looked at what? Passion. Yeah, I think, yeah, last week at Passion. And I believe that it blessed somebody. Amen. I believe it blessed somebody. Today we're from the Spirit. Today we're looking at living epistles. Say living epistles. Living epistles. Letters from the Spirit. This is a new series we are looking at. Letters from the Spirit. So the subtitle is what? Living epistles. Muku school. So you don't spell epistle. Uh huh. And I'm a school even A living epistle. Is a proof of the reality of God. A living epistle is simply a vessel of communication that brings to bear the mind of God, the will of God, the purpose of God, the agenda of God, so that the government of God is established in his or her influence of sphere of influence. Yeah, sphere of influence. We are talking about man hosting God. Can you host God? And not only do you host God, you express him. Amen. So not only are you saying that me but you must prove it. You must express it. In fact, that is what the church needs. In are so no here in this time. Not only the Yakwa Chapel Sundays or sometimes weekday service we are present. No, if you tell me you are a child of God, then you must express God. We must see it. In fact, it is, this thing, you cannot hide it. Can you hide it? You cannot hide it. Jesus on earth, even when, I am miracles more on can. On the bottom of can. Amen. Also, when it comes to the things of God, it cannot be hidden. Even deeper revelations, with time, they are revealed. Deeper insight. When they do not understand the agenda of God, with time, it was revealed unto man through the Apostle Paul. Yet he said, oh, this is the agenda of God to mankind. That the whole world, everybody will come with, into a covenant with God. That was the agenda of God. Everybody will know God. Everybody will accept Christ. Everybody will walk like him, talk like him. 
Hallelujah. So when, when we talk about a living epistle, we are talking about people who host God. And they also demonstrate it. They express it. Hallelujah. And I believe that this is very vital, especially in this end time, where we are not seeing a difference. This one will tell us the difference here. In fact, this one is a differential. The difference between a child of God and then the child of whoever I don't want to mention the name. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Letters from the Spirit. You see, throughout the Bible, we discover that Christians are compared to a lot of things. Hallelujah. But we are compared to many things, like the branch. And uh, we, are, we are looking, we are, we are liking onto what? A light. Ye are the light of the world. Sometimes trenching. What's my reason? My reason? Hallelujah. So we are compared to so in Matthew 5 going, the Beatitudes 6 downwards. We are also compared to a sheep. As for my sheep, no word, my voice. And then they do what? They follow me. But in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3, that's what we're going to read. Let's read it. Come on, let's read it. Can we get New Living Translation? NLT. NLT. Good. Oh, I should read it to myself. New Living Translation. NLT. <laughs> okay, so let me read it. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 to 3. Also, do we begin again to commend ourselves? Or need we... Sorry. This is King James. Yes, NLT. Are we beginning to praise ourselves again? Are we like others who need to bring the letters of recommendation or ask, who you, or ask you to write such letters on their behalf? Surely not. The only letter of recommendation we need is you yourself. The only letter of recommendation we need is what? You yourself. Your lives are a letter written in our hearts. Everyone can read it and recognize our good work among you. Clearly, you are a letter from Christ, showing the results of our ministry among you. This letter is written not with pen and ink, but with the spirit of the living God. It is carved not on tablets of stone, but on human hearts. Amen. Are we beginning to praise ourselves again? Are we like others? Who need to bring the letters of recommendation? Or who asks you to write letters on their behalf? Surely not. The only letter of recommendation we need is you yourselves. Your lives are a letter written in our hearts. Everyone can read it and recognize our good work among you. Clearly, you are a letter from Christ, showing the results of our ministry among you. This letter is written not with pen and ink. But with the spirit of the living God, it is carved not on tablets of stone, but on human hearts. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God. Amen. Amen. See, but when we look at this comparison, Christians are compared to what letters. Apart from being the light, being the sun, being the gold, that is what we find in the refiner's fire. Apart from all the similes and apostrophes and all those things, eh, those who did literature, uh -huh, all those poetic devices and all those things we are compared to a letter that is written for all men to read and for all men to see so when I look at you I see you as a written letter that was written by Christ because Christ in you the hope of glory it is a glory that is yet to be revealed and you see this letter is not for, for some people it is for what everyone hallelujah this letter from the Lord unto the world is what? Everyone. So your life itself, this is just a summary, must demonstrate Christ. If God is inside you, you must express Him. I mean, that's the bottom line issue. If Christ is in you, you must what? Express Him. So if you're a child of God and you are not expressing God, it means that your sonship. Or your communication with God is some way, somehow. And so you have to go back. So ask yourself, Does your life depict Christ? Does your life demonstrate Christ? This morning, I want us to think about this. That's all. I mean, that's the whole message. 
a written letter. That is the whole message. Conclusion of the matter. Also, right? Fear God and what? Keep his commandments. For that is the whole duty of a man. For whatever a man did, whether in the secret or in the open, it will be what? The opening in our Hallelujah. Listen to me. There are different kinds of letters in this world. The one some of us we love most, love letters. Should we name a love letter? Oh. Should we name a kind of don't cry to send to me? Can you Love letters. Friendly letters. Thank you letters. But literally letters. Amen. Different, different forms of it. But the letter that will represent in all your is unique. Because a letter about life. It's, about, it's a letter that talks of who a man is. Who he was, is, and is to be. It's a letter that expresses a man's life. Hallelujah. It's not just one of those letters we've read. We've bent them. This one, you cannot bend them. Because this letter is life. And so if it is well written, it transforms others. If it is well written, it changes others. If it is well expressed, or the bank of are you a written letter from God to mankind? Because I'm sure that many of us answer now and compare now. Oh, maybe we have a little bit of a chill, have fun and go. No, there's more than that. Maybe we'll look at that one maybe next week. Legacies and testimonies. But today we're looking at what? Living epistles. Epistles from God. That when people look at and they read it, their lives are changed. You see, when we read books about the God's generals, unfortunately, we are great men and women in Africa. But because they were not documented, we've missed them. I am telling you, there were men in Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, who were even more powerful than the God generals we've read. But because God generals, oh yeah, but you want to turn into you too can you? But Africa, then because of being one document, have one or two books, God generals in Africa. But yet it is still lacking because they could not record it well. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You see, for the word of God to be powerful, to be sharp, to come alive, that word must be expressed in a man. I mean, can it be? For the word, you see, we, we quote the scripture. The word of God is alive and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Pierce living to divide and ascend of the soul and spirit of a joint and marrow, the critic of thought and intent of the heart. Is the scripture. Amen. It's the descent of the thought and the intent of the heart. You mean some tumi womb. You mean some notasi. Ija womb. But you see, the word as we have it is a the book. And you see, books are such that they can be shared. And a book, what do not have to be? Even though book no one for so. But today, you can't find no book. Now, that we read in other days, that book is of no essence or relevance. Oh, do you get it? What I'm talking about? So, likewise, when you are in the second Bible, the Bible is not a Bible. You come to church and you're not transformed by the song, the worship, and the thing, the activity we do here. You are actually nobody again. Are you, do you get it? It means that your service, being in church, spending an hour or two here, is of what? No relevance. Hallelujah. Likewise, that's how the word is. It's, it's, like, it's a letter written on stones, in parchments. But this, this letter will have no meaning in your life unless this written is written in the tablet of your heart. And that word brings transformation. There are some who are true or they say, And I'm very sure, and I know. That many of us come to church every Sunday, yet we go with nothing. Many of us come to church, we sit under ministrations and preachers and we hear them on YouTube, yet we are not transformed by them. We go to church, like I always say, every Sunday in church where we see only angels. No demon comes to church on Sunday. Or you don't believe it. Or they come and then they put on angelic clothes, white, like white angels. For the word of God. To bring transformation in a man, the word must be incarnate. In other words, the word must dwell in a man. And that's something that's sitting in Penum. Not this. Amen. So we can have the Bible. Like these days, people even throw Bible out. People can sometimes buy a Bible. I remember those days, this question was, used to, was asked. Jesus in the picture. I don't know if you remember this. Jesus in the picture. In the Bible. Okay, the choose. When they choose. And I was a car. In the Bible. In the Jesus in the picture. Or car. I mean, some kind of. Comparisons. What will you pick? We saw my friend Jesus' picture because Jesus Christ only picture both them are fine. Demon over guy. So no, we make for car because we make for car. I'm not talking about your juma. My cousin Jesus only pictures baby. Funny. Listen to me. 
listen to me. Well, people say that the picture we see is not even Jesus. And I'm a boy because Jesus is a black man. Don't worry, someday we'll go there. <laughs> this is not a time for, the, for the, such discussion, but we'll go there. But whatever it is, you can have all the pictures of all the great men in your room. But if they are worse, one of someone who can one life and someone brabba, it is what? Meaningless. That is why you can have all the translations in the world, biblical translations, all forms of them. Yet, if you are not changed by the word of God, you are joking. You can go to all the ministries, meet all the prophets and all the men of God in the world. Yet, if their life do not transform you, you are missing. Hallelujah. That is why it's not everybody who met Jesus in this time was changed. There are people who met and said, oh, this one is working with demons. What happened to them? They were not changed. But yet, poor people, when they met Jesus, they knew that Jesus was their last show and their lives were changed. Blind Bartimaeus had the sight. Cripples. Widows had their sons being brought to life. But the Bible said, were there not plenty widows in Israel? But yet, one who was a foreigner, son was brought to life. I'm sure that many of you may be answered and you home. Because many a times, when God wants to bless his people, you will see that God goes out there and brings people and he blesses them and brings them to church. But people in church, church folks, are not blessed. Why? It's because we have belittled God. Two, because we are used to God. How can a creator, the creature, be used to the creator? Hallelujah. How can a child be used to his father? A child who is used to his father will not listen to the counsel of his father. So no matter what the father says, he will not listen. Oh, Papa, this is me. Nah. But meanwhile, your father is speaking wisdom. And it is enough to change your situation. Hallelujah. That is how I saw my I saw my aim. So you see that you are in church for long yet. Listen to me, that is a sign that you are what? Spiritual koshoko. You are not growing. Yes. It, it, you can't sit in this ministry for long. Listen to teachings, prayer meetings. The way we love prayer. Here we are always having service, and I know people are complaining in the area. Ah, sorry, did they be on a gay, gay, gay? Yes, we do. I wish we would meet every day. Oh, yes. Even when I'm tired, I'll come and preach. When I'm sick, I'll come and preach. Oh, yes. Because the devil does not sleep. He's a full-time, he's a full-time guy. Never a part-time guy. If he, he doesn't even sleep, but yet we will sleep. You know? So when we sleep, we are wasting time. I'm telling you the truth. When you are asleep, he's working. When you are awake, he's working. So he has more time at his disposal than you. But you and I, you have limited time on earth. That is why we must live like Christ. That is why we must talk like Christ. That is why people should be transformed and changed through us. Listen, can you boast of one soul that you want for God? Can you boast of one person you brought to church and today the person's life has been transformed? As a young man, I've seen people who did not know God, but today they are preachers. I, have, I know people who didn't even honor God. But today, by the grace of God, they are champions for Christ. I have seen people's spiritual growth. They were not nobody, but today they are people of what? Prominence. I have seen it with my eyes and I've heard it with my ears. Now, let me ask you who have you won for God for all the days that you spend on this earth? 21 years. I mean, one or 18, below 18, 18 years. From when you are my my years are my young people. See, sweet nonsense. 20 years, 21, 21 years, or 22, 23, 24. 25 below. Hey. Hey, I'm 16. <laughs> I'm 16. <laughs> I'm 16. It's not here. Hallelujah. So for the word of God to come alive, it must be what? Incarnate. Let me just follow my notes. Let me share this story with, with you. There were a group of men who were talking about the gospel. One would say, oh, the gospel according to Mark is superb. Oh, the gospel according to Luke. Luke was a doctor, so I didn't research any. Oh, no, I like Matthew. The gospel according to Matthew was the best. And one man get up, got up and said, Hi, hey, relax, me. The gospel according to my mother is the best gospel I've ever heard. We should understand that man. It means her mother lived like Christ. Because if you are comparing a mother, a woman to the, the scriptures, it tells you that woman was like God on earth. Some of us, we hate our mothers. Or we don't like our mothers so much. 
Hey, whether you like it or not, I don't know you sound nine months now. <laughs> so it doesn't make any difference. You have an issue with your mother, go and settle it. Hallelujah. What's the best gospel I've ever read? Is the gospel according to my mother. In other words, this woman taught her child like Christ did. This woman loved her child like God loved us and sent Christ for us. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. So the word of God manifests in your life. You have no relevance or essence. So John chapter 1 verse 4, that's what. And the word became what? Flesh. Oh, come on, preach with me. And the word became what? And dwelt what? Among us. So ask yourself, has the word of God become flesh in your heart? Dude, I'm just asking questions. What is the word, because we beheld the glory, even the glory of the Holy Begotten Son of the Father, full of what? Grace and truth. Not yet, some they do Abraboma. Grace is released, truth manifests. Amen. Tell us, some not desire, I do not yet, and Obudu, not then, no crazy, and then, or Daisy. Yeah, today my fancy is going well. Hallelujah. Do, when I look at, do I see grace? When I look at, do I see truth? These days, we have more liars in the church than in the world. Oh, I'm telling the truth. You know me, I'm not missing it. I'm hitting the nail on the head. We are more liars. Christian sisters with three or four boyfriends, all in the name of dating and relationship. Christian sisters running three or four ladies on your phone. ATM. Mobile money. Bank account. But somebody says, don't go there. No, no, no. I have to go there because we are talking about living epistles. Is that what the patriarch takes? When Abraham came on earth, a man, it is believed, was from an idol home. That kind of thing. That's okay. That's people's theology. That's fine. But yet, that man knew God. And he was known as a friend of God. These are people we are talking, we are saying that they are not under grace, but we are under grace. Look, are you a friend of God? Oh, yes. I am a friend of God. You are not a friend of God. See you. Listen. Listen, Abraham was a friend of God. And we, we are saying we are children of God. Okay, so what is the difference between Abraham and us? One was a friend, one was a child. It means that our communication, our relationship with God should be much deeper than Abraham's. But it is what? The other way around. A friend! Who knew his Lord more than a child? No wonder the Bible said, and her, as long as he's a child, he's not different from what a slave, a servant or a slave. But when he grows, onyina. And the tutelage is given so that in Bruno Super, Zawana Dan Redan, we're too much with that man, Ninja person. It's because we declare, you're not okay, you're not okay, you're not okay. Oh, come on. When you're not okay, it's too low. Lift it up. Your knowledge of God is still shallow. Lift it up. Because Abraham will stand in judgment against the generation and condemn us because during his time, he knew God and he spoke to God. Moses would stand in judgment against this generation and condemn us and say, Ah, you be poor, Muslim, 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 but did you ever talk to God? Sarah would stand in judgment against this generation and say, Me, during my time, my dressing was an example unto all women. Can you declare that? Sometimes, even in church, the way we dress to church, like as if we've been trained by Jezebel, as if Delilah was our senior sister. I'm saying it. I'm not saying gentlemen in my church. You must come to church. If you don't come there, I'll call you. I'll call you. I'll come and pick you from your house. Yes, I'll come and arrest you and bring you to church. We need this message. But listen, who you are? You are a written letter. Written, not with pen or with ink. You see, when I when I when I when I read this message, my life is changed. It means that my life is very relevant and very important to God. So that is why it was by his spirit he wrote. It was not with all my ink and pen, they pass away. No wonder the Bible says what heaven and earth are passing away, but my word is what remains forever. I know people are saying, don't go there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James chapter 1, verse 22. I'm just skipping a few things because of time. James chapter 1, verse 22. Be what? Oh, you don't know what is written there. Two words. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Please, can someone read, uh, read it up to 25 for me? Let's read the whole thing. James chapter 1, 22, 25. Yeah, just read it. Don't just listen to God's word, God's words. You must what, do what it says. Uh-huh. Ah, I love this one. Otherwise, you're only what? So many of us have been fooling ourselves for so long. Enough is enough. Show him. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Say enough is enough. Oh, because normally you get a shubia out there. Point, point. No, this one. Point, point to yourself. Say enough is enough. Apostle, read it quickly. Twenty-three. Mm-hmm. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, mm. it is like glancing your your face in a mirror. Mm-hmm. You see yourself walk away and forget what you look like. Apostle, it's okay. It's like you've seen your nice. Oh, I'm fine. And then you turn. Hey, you tell me if you how do I look like? I have to go back again. It's like a, a, a dog eating his own vomit. Mm, push it. Hallelujah. Amen. I know, so for, these are hard sayings, but let me say them. Because they will bring healing and deliverance to you. Some of us, it is time. We have joked for so long. We think we are fooling so much, but we have been fooling ourselves for so long. We are in church. You call yourself a Christian, a child of God, yet the ladies, you line them up. And that, this lady is in your car. Tomorrow, this lady, you are working with this one. The next day, you are working with another person. And all these people are not just normal friends who. Uh, Junior, they are not just normal friends. Sisters. Sometimes. Clear them all. They are beyond normal friends. And I wonder why you call yourself a child of God. Come on, it is time for the church to repent. I will still preach it. Come on, preach let's it. move on. I will preach it. Yes. It is time for the church to change. Bring up the assur- 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 Yes, sir. sir. Don't, listen, whether you like it or not, you'll be in window for four years. At most, if you want to do a, a service or internship here, another year, then you are gone. Some of you, because of marriage or something, something you may stay here. That's fine, because I want you to stay here. It's nice to stay here. Uh, my sons, open your eyes. My sons, open your eyes. And grow. Women want men who are what? Mature. And I'm a boy. Yeah. So don't be out like Christian brother and sister and always Christian brother and sister. They will leave you and go and marry somebody else. Okay. Oh, me, I know. It happens a lot of church. Oh, when we are fine. We are fine. We are fine. Oh, brother Junior, I'm home from you. No, Abba. Brother A. Ofosu. Brother. Running errands for the daughters of Zion. <laughs> Running errands for the ladies. <laughs> no, for what, for But in Mary's order, we are on for. They like mysteries. Yeah, like, 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 ladies like, like, oh, me boy. Monkey, they work, babu, they chop. Babu, go chop. Hey. So, brothers, Monsha Mui, sisters, watch and pray. Amen. Amen. You see, just like raising children, they train in Mofamba. You don't use just words. You, what, you demonstrate it for them. Oh, in the young pastor, you have no pastor. There was this story of a young girl. She got up one morning and said, Daddy, Daddy, Mommy, I want to go to church. The puppy is old, Charlie, and I'm a call night club, man, so I'm telling you, Charlie, later, later. Mommy, mommy, I want to go to Sunday school. So my daughter, I work all night. I'm so tired. I'm going to move on. Like that time, I've only been to 16 years. That time, mommy and the puppy weren't paying for. I said, Sarah, Sarah, my young girl, sorry. I said, mommy, I went to hang out with my friends. <laughs> I can't go to church. You see, I said, Macy, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to church. I'm going but because parents went to man demonstrate and man the better, first of all, you're paying us. Oh, I saw the idea. Since you are more parents, more painful. Since you are on the move, you're shining. More banners, why are they? Why are you? Why are you? We need to train our children with examples, with our lifestyles. You know, soothing and a bang. If you want to transform a friend, it's simple. Your roommate. Oh, be nice to her. Not pretending, no. But let Christ be expressed in you. And I'm telling you, she will follow you to church. I am telling you. I don't know a roommate that I've had who is not a Christian. So, listen, by the time I'm done with you, <laughs> you are doing shabalabalabala every day. I'm telling you the truth. There were times I even thought I don't have any friend. But all my friends were pastors. These days, some of us, we are Buddhist friends, we are Muslim friends, Hare Krishna friends, Jewish friends, 
Chinese friends. Misha. Like everything. And you tell me, child, you, you don't influence them. But you were written letter to the world. Written not with ink or pen, but written by what? The Spirit. Your life must become like the Spirit. The Spirit moveth where, where it listed. Nobody understands or see where it's coming or where it's going. So is he that is born of the Spirit. So if you are born of the Spirit, you are unpredictable. But some of us, we are predictable. We know what is happening tomorrow. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is something more wonderful. Something that surpasses great literatures. Something that is more beautiful than the greatest symphony. Something that is more sublime than the greatest or wonderful things in the world. And that is an ability to live like Christ, walk like Christ, talk like Christ, dance like Christ, move like Christ. When people see you, they see you, Christ inside you. When I look at you, do I see Christ? Mary, when I look at you, do I see Christ? Roommate, roommate, I'm in the part one and two. When I see you, do I see Christ? Brothers and sisters always fighting. Small issue with your friend, pay. You are not a child of God yet. Look at Jesus. Even his own people in town forsook him, his own family. Are you the Christ? John the Baptist. You see, that day, it was interesting. The day John sent the disciples to Jesus, what happened? That day, Jesus had raised the dead, healed the sick. In fact, he has done all manner and all kinds of miracles. Why was he be bread that day? Not that day, the Holy Ghost was abamo, was abrejuma. Not that John the Baptist, are you the one? Oh, when you are John, when are you? Are you sure? Be full of him. I said, go ahead, tell John <laughs> what is happening. He had actually lived to his fullest potential. God has found expression in his life that day. That day, it was beyond understanding. He said, go and just my wound, juma, cast them out. Mama, when you cast my wound, juma. Hallelujah. Let your work speak for you. Let people know. Man, oh, they'll tell me that I'm colo. Me, they don't know the times. Let, them, let those who say they know the times follow. No wonder they will pass away quickly. Continue serving God in reverence and in honor. Continue becoming like Christ. Let Jesus be seen in you. Among God, let them attest to it. You see, if your lifestyle is okay and you are serving God, they will start calling you a Oh, that's the fa- fastest thing. And I'm a boy. Hey, who wants us off, mommy? Oh, your flowers of mommy. Your flowers of your flowers of, of, of mommy. Let me tell your flowers of mommy. Who could I do of? Hallelujah. When your friends will start to run for the years of and also mommy, I'll tell them Christ or manifest womb. Oh, it's true. Not a beer, a bear of food. But it is because of your passion for the work of God. You, you always want to be in the house of God. You always want to study your Bible, want to pray. Hey, I can't wait there. Challenge from the Bible in that group. I shared a story here when I was in senior high school. Let me just say it again. We were having fun in our dormitory. You know, level, uh, Miss Levan, form one boys. Homo join. It didn't come. We always sleep late. And there's one guy who's one of my Christians. That's how I suffer. Challenge. Can we need you know? But Miss Hair, so what? That girl, no go hair. Or you no go area. Also, challenge, challenge. Miss Hair, me, I'm telling you, that girl. Make you not dry. Not Jimmy Dagger. So we're there. One early morning, when the so much guy now I bet you go oh, alive. Oh, oh, oh. Now that day I don't undress you, but that day he dressed well. I, mean, I don't know what he was trying to look for. <laughs> or pretend to. But I shut the year like Obeyana, Chalo Bana. Me too, I'm telling when the guy never enter. Mr. Che, I said, Mamba. Obeyana was telling Jay. I was hello, good morning. At least, oh, good morning. Lady, no, you'll be every day, but the Bible was school class. Every day. She has not even missed one. Guy in the band of Obey in the deck, so no, he Bible. On the 12. Not so, in your Bible study, see, we are needing come on. <laughs> hey, that day, hey, that evening, we did not sleep. When someone came to the dormitory, I told me for the whole night. They said, catch it out. Listen, don't try some people. Some of us. There was a day I was just at the mobile money joint. And this small girl, SL girl, and then this, we smoke some of them. They came around and all the girl in the And I was watching. I was watching. I'm again, I'm up on the 024355. I guess I'll call you. Eh? We'll woke up. I'll call you. I guess you. And the guy left. Let me say again, hey. Oh, small girl. Everybody said, okay, who know my guy? Also, he said he wants to be my friend. Let me say, ah, are you sure? 
Mr. as you know, Once he he just wants to be my friend. Are you sure? I ah, you were led like a sheep to the slaughter. Some other girls, I don't know what she wants. You see, it's because these girls were not trained well at home. But when you meet somebody who's well trained at home, by what? Examples. He will know the mind of predictors from afar. He will know that this guy, even though he says he likes me, but his interest is evil, he will snap them from afar and she will flee from it. Like a young man, like Joseph ran away from Potiphar's wife. Church, our life is a written letter to the world. Our life is a written testimony. Let men behold us and honor God. Some of us, when we look at our lifestyle, we will not even go to church. But yet, <laughs> we say that we are Christian. Romans 8, 19. The NLT version. Mm-hmm. Sorry, NIV. Let's read NIV. Okay. Also, for the creation, <laughs> NIV. NIV. I like NIV for NIV. this one. Mm-hmm. Just read it. Okay. We are Romans wrapping up. We're wrapping up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a very popular NIV. scripture. Okay. For the creation. For the creation mm-hmm. with in age expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For creation wait in eager. Okay, eager. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Expectation. For the children of God to be revealed. In other words, life, creation itself is waiting. So they are waiting for us. They have been demonstrated to Christ. But unfortunately, the sons of the kingdom, the daughters of the kingdom, the kingdom, the daughters of the kingdom we are accustomed to business. We are accustomed to running after what? Mama. That's money. We are accustomed to running after clothes, like ladies. Who are the very best wear? Hey, who pay you? Who wear one wardrobe? And to man, put in one shabby. Who find dresses? So, let me see. You will be busy here, but we will see new one. They will buy it. But some of us, Charlie, just one trouble, two or three. The rest is labor. But may the Lord bless us with our own. Creation, the whole world is waiting for you to manifest. Do you know how many are connected to you? Do you know? I have no idea. So, till so you find full expression in God, so your very life or essence is expressed, those people will what will be found missing. Some of us say, eh, One of the one I mean, through us watching, they are waiting for us. They are waiting that you share Christ with them. Watching what Bravo, but they use Christ to easy so that they will come and re- will run after you to church. But yet, <laughs> you are still enjoying. The onions and garlics of Egypt. Yes, the world is too sweet for you to let go. You let go small, then you go back again. You're enjoying it. Hey, the pleasures of this world. But heaven and earth is passing away. It's everything in it, but the word is forever. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Amen. Well, look at the verse 2. Second Corinthians 3, verse 2. We are wrapping up. Awesome. So that everyone can read it. And recognize our good works among you. You see, when you when, when you are living epistle, everybody sees it. This way, you cannot hide your lifestyle. Into me face here. Oh, beyond the empire, you are some yami. Oh, beyond oh, this sister, Charlie, no go area. Hey, then yami small face agor. When it comes to being in church, a commitment to the things of God is on parallel to none. Hey, that brother, forget. He entered room, ah, shabala, bala, 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 bala. He ain't when Bible says about ten ogwo. Different, different translation. He's always studying. He's always reading. That brother, don't joke. Church, it is time. Should we catch It is time. Look at another person's face. Say, it is time to live for God, to live like Christ. John thirteen thirty five. Also, for by this all men will know. So the written letter, the living epistle we are talking about, all can read it. Oh, we see it. Not some. Everybody. And they will attest that indeed you have changed. I always share my life experience. When I gave my life to Christ, everybody knew how to change. In fact, all my area, everybody knew. Because the way I met them. If I used to be this, I met them. Like some of you, the things you've been doing. Come on, blast them, blast them. Everybody knew how to change. The whole neighborhood. And they started calling myself for suffer. Because indeed the Holy Ghost has descended upon me and my life has changed. I'm telling you the truth. Those who here know when I was a young boy growing, they'll tell you that the way I am now, that's not what I used to be. 
that some of you will not be in this ministry. <laughs> yes, because we're too straight. We're raw. Church, men must attest to it. When somebody from your hometown who knows you from childhood, when they see you, now, they must acknowledge, and in fact, indeed, reaffirm that, ah, I'm not going to be able to do it. Ah, I'm going to be able to do it. First, I'm going to be able to do it. See, see, I'm going to be able to do it. May that be our testimony. Oh, may that be our testimony. By this, all men. Us all men who know. They will attest to it that indeed it is the doing of the Lord. To become a living epistle, you must not only host God, but you must also express God. Be an expression of God. Hallelujah. Let's look at two examples of living epistle. Abraham, Genesis 12. And Joseph, Genesis 37 going. Two men who hosted God in themselves and expressed Him. Two men. Nipe Tupe. Friend of God. He could talk to God. He could even bargain with God. Can you bargain with God? No, no. I'm not going to bargain in the first place. Yes. Because if you can hear His voice, that's why you can bargain with Him. Oh, you ready? Men say, man, Hugana Mbobo. You did, man. Do this for my family. You know, your family, I have a bonnet here. Now, so for your bonnet, for him. For if my people who are called my man, they will humble themselves and pray. Mm hmm. Continue. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hey. This is my students. Hallelujah. Yeah, let me continue. <laughs> Amen, church. Amen. A living epistle. Remember, Joseph was buried in the pit. Yet he rose up and reigned as a prime minister in Egypt. Just, just, just like Christ, he was buried. Yet he rose up and he seated at the right hand of God, full of power and authority. That is a living epistle, a living legend. <laughs> He's a legend we look up to. He's our Lord, he's our master. He came to demonstrate the, the, the Christ kind of life, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Authors are people who write books, they start and then they end. That's why you, your life will begin and will end successfully. Because the author of this life is with you. Was who for the joy that was set before him? He endured the cross, despising his saves. And today, he seated at the right hand of God. Let us look upward unto him. He was a living epistle unto the world. Amen. You see, legally, let me, hit, let me, let me, let me skip this one. Remember, the only Bible people will read is your lifestyle. The only Bible I have is your lifestyle. Think about this statement carefully as I wrap up. The only Bible people will read will be your lifestyle. So how is the Bible of your life written? How is the letter of your life written? How is it written? Is it written with pen or with ink? Or it is written by the Spirit? Are you a perfect example unto your friends? Are you an example to your parents? Are you an example to your siblings? As a firstborn child, secondborn, thirdborn, fourthborn, doesn't really matter. Because David was a small boy. Yet he became the king when they needed a king. Why? That younger man in the wilderness. You see, culturally, when I'm a man, the young one takes care of the sheep. It's true. So normally, because very soon, but God written a second one ever. So David was alone with the animals in the wilderness. But later did the brother know that they were being trained. But see, we forget that if we are more treating other people, we are actually training them well. So that's not being trained, you understand what I'm talking about. We are actually training those somebody to show you see. So later when you do comparison, you see the difference. You see, time is always, time always proves matters. Time. That's what BBs are so tell you, relax. I learned this from one of my pastors. That's also for BBs are relax. Sometimes issue come before you giddy, 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 want to resolve the matter fast. I say, hey, relax. Give it time. From when I'm not side, I have a fair Time always heals. Just that you know, means we are in a hurry. It's a fast world. Everything is fast, 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 fast. You're pentam. But when you give it time, man and bra. When the things settle, because at the very heat of the moment, will be any beautiful, will be an tasty. But when you give it time, two days, three days, the things settle. Hallelujah! Time always proves who is wrong. So if indeed you are serving God, if indeed you are living 
a pistol, time will tell. If you are joking now, time will tell. I always say that the Bible studies I used to do four or five years back is what is helping me now. It doesn't mean that my 10 years or five years is what I'm doing now. That will also help me. It is true. Because I used to find myself every Sunday afternoon, four hours, five, five hours just reading the Bible. I remember my Bible is always marked with ink. This is phone here, yeah, highlights though. Yeah, mark, 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 the man. Hours. I was not married then. I had no children to disturb me. Oh, okay. I remember those days. Madina New Road. Let me tell you, get to one. Sunday after church, the market is in one of my table. My son may be a Bible. New living King James. New King James. No mutual. No mutual. No mutual. No mutual. No mark. No mutual. No mutual. No mutual. No mutual. This is nice. And as I was reading, really more insights were coming. That's what I was doing. Because I was preparing myself for today. You see, you don't, prep, you don't prepare for today now. You prepare years back. So some of you, what you are doing now, eh, it will tell me of your next five years. So when I look at you, and based on the things you are doing, I can tell you, listen, your next five years is bright or it is doom. Even now, if you want to know your next five years, lift up your hand, I'll tell you. If you want to know that your next five years, and mark my words, whatever I will say, like Jacob. Say, sons of Jacob, where are you? Appear before your father. And I will tell you the thing that I yet to befall you. And listen to me. Everything that Jacob told his children, they came to, they came true. Pe, 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 pe. They came to pass. None of them miss it, Mark. Even those he cares. And no man of them. Try it. Let's try. I love practicals. It's true. So just ask yourself, how are you preparing for your tomorrow now? So right now, if you are say, your next two years, three years is awesome. Because, they, listen, life or the investment, it's true. So, are you living like Christ? Are you a living epistle? Do you see yourself as a written letter to the world? Is your life an example unto many? Because if your life is an example unto many now, the next three years, when you need help from somebody, okay, ah, then brother, I know him. Oh, we're in school. I'm funny, I'm assuming that one. So give him that job. I remember I got a job in one somewhere called Tema Committee 18. Yes. I went for the interview. As soon as I finished the interview, when I came to the hall, then I met one of my body friends from Winnipeg. They said, I went, I said, oh yeah, I saw, saw something and I applied some teaching, teaching children and all those stuff. So oh, really? They said, wait for me. He entered the place. He called the boss, Mr. Richard. Ah, that young man, please give me that job. <laughs> The next day, they come here, when do you want to start work? I'm telling you, when do you want to start work? A recommendation by a friend. Listen to me. Some of us, we are watching, you know, five years from now, or three years, no, five years or what? Two years from now, if one of my sons want to marry, say, ah, don't worry, I know one daughter of mine. <laughs> Maybe, it's, yeah? Repent. It's not you. I mean, one daughter of mine, she's, she comes highly recommended. That one, you cannot miss. She's as sharp as the eagle. In the spirit and the physical. Nusubai, ah, the phone book. I'm going to say, oh, be. Hey, also, boom, boom, boom. So this one, when you connect, you will run faster. This one, when you connect, you will run ahead of your peers and companions. But there are some of you, I can't recommend you. Ah, no, 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 no. Some of you, I can't. Hey, Nusubai, boom. Hey, there are some sisters, eh? They put in church, they will pass here. Shoot, they will go. Brothers, shoot, they will pass here. Even though they know we always pack chairs. There are some of you, you always come and sit down and then you go. You don't know how this place is put in shape. You don't even care. Hallelujah. Let's read that scripture and then that is all. NLT, New Living Translation. Let's read from the verse 2. Also, the only letters of recommendation we need is you yourself. In other words, Apostle Wana Brabo at this man, in fact, it has impacted life, it has transformed people. So the only letter of recommendation we need is your life, is you. Your lives are a letter written in our hearts. Everyone can read it and recognize our good works among you. Clearly, you were a letter from Christ showing the result of our ministry among you. So Paul was saying that if you want to see what I've done for Christ, look at that sister, look at that brother. Look at that young man. That is my, my letter of recommendation. 
many years back, when I was working at Cry, a lady called me. I think I've shared that story before. And she, I spent two hours with this girl. Let me go see her. I'm listening to you. But do you want to fly from it? Light of wood. You can pay me a day. You know it's a light of wood. You have to tell us your testimonies. That's awful. Hey, son, I'm going to get you to school. I'm going to get you to school. I mean, I don't even know what I, I used to tell you. That's awful. <laughs> two hours. And some, and some, I did. I said, wow. Glory be unto God. Listen to me. Your life is an example unto somebody. Let it be a perfect example. Oh, church, I said what? Let your life be a perfect example. Because the only Bible... Somebody will read is what? Your lifestyle. We bless God for the preaching of his word. Amen. Amen. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. We have to wrap up. It's time. Let's be on our feet.